Hey everybody, welcome to Crazy Tech Lab, and today we are checking out a very, very interesting SSD from MSI. It is the Spatium M580 Frozzer. Now, this thing is special for quite a number of reasons. Number one, it is one of the fastest M.2 SSDs that you can buy on the consumer desktop market out there right now. So this thing, as it says on the box, can hit 14,600 megabytes a second on the read speed and, and nearly 13,000 megabytes a second on the write speed. So pretty much double the speeds that you would find from a PCI Express 4 SSD. And whether, you're, whether or not you need the speeds on one of these things, it has something else that is very, very important as well. A very, very, very large heatsink that actually has three heat pipes in it. So MSI is well known for its cooling with its graphics cards, generally performs really, really well there. This thing though is on a different level because something that pretty much every single PCI Express 5 SSD that I've tested, even those with heat sinks, continually struggle with the thermals of PCI Express 5 SSDs. And in a couple of instances, you'll see the SSDs throttle quite easily. So I would definitely not recommend buying a PCI Express 5 SSD for your laptop. Um, there's just no point doing it because you'll just see it throttle and then it will just cut back the speeds um, basically to um, PCI Express 4 speeds or less. But if you really, really want those extra speeds, MSI has actually done something really, really special here today with the Spatium. It is massive, but it will clear most graphics cards on motherboards and you will actually see PCI Express 5 SSD speeds pretty much all the time as well. And in fact, not pretty much all the time, all the time, because this heatsink just copes with the uh, temperatures just so much better than anything else that I've tested. So we're going to be putting it through its paces today in a couple of benchmarks, seeing what uh, the results are and uh, coming to some conclusions at the end and basically working out why or explaining why I think this is the only PCI Express 5 SSD that you should actually be buying out there if you're buying it for your gaming PC. So thanks to MSI for sending this thing over. You can find all the links about where to buy it in the description below, plus a whole load of other stuff. And you can even check out some of the great hardware that I've tested recently here on the channel in my Amazon shop, so you know you're buying tried and tested products. I'd like to thank MSI for sending this thing over today so we can test it and um, Definitely one of the things that I would love if I had a no holds barred um, gaming PC, perhaps with an RTX 4090 in there and some really high end hardware, perhaps a, an AMD uh, Ryzen 7000 7800X3D or a Intel Core i9 14900K uh, or something like that. That's the kind of system that I would want this, piece, this, uh, this monster in. So thanks to MSI for sending it and this motherboard over as well, the uh, MAG X6MTE Tomahawk Wi-Fi. And uh, let's crack on with the review. So we have the temperature results to look at first then. And this is probably the one that needs to be talked about the most because it is the most impressive for this SSD. So the MSI Spatium M580 Frozzer, a peak temperature despite back-to-back -back benchmark runs lasting over 10 minutes of just 41 degrees C. Now that is likely around 40 degrees away from any throttling temperature. So you can imagine that even if you're in a pretty stuffy case with a lot less airflow um, than I was using, you're still not gonna see this thing throttling. You might see another 10, 20 degrees added to that temperature, but even then it is still way cooler than any other PCI Express 5 SSD that I have tested. So the next coolest result was the Corsair MP700, which doesn't come with a heatsink, or actually Corsair did include one initially, but then it decided to remove it because I think it just found that the temperatures weren't really worth the added cost of a, a heatsink. So you have to use your motherboard heatsink with that one or buy a third party heatsink. And as we can see here, even then, with a very, very large motherboard heatsink, that thing only managed to drop its temperature to 74 degrees C. So the addition of a very tall heatsink that's able to make use of airflow in your case and the addition of heat pipes as well just really keep the MSI Spatium M80 Frozzer well away from any thermal uh, throttling temperatures and just means that you can run it at those rated speeds all day long and it just doesn't care. It's well away from those throttling temperatures and you actually see the speeds that you're buying or that you're paying for all day long, no matter what you throw at it. And that's something that can't be said of the other SSDs that I've tested. Now, if you're mostly worried about throughput in terms of sequential speed, so the peak 
uh, speeds that you're able to throw data around at with very large files, maybe video files or those kind of things, then this is the graph for you. And as we can see here, the MSI Spatium M580 Frozer performing just as well, if not a tad better than the Crucial T705. So again, you're not losing any speed compared to any of the other PCI Express 5 SSDs. And as we've, as we've already mentioned in the pre previous graph, it's able to match these speeds all day long, no matter pretty much what situation you're running it in because that heatsink has plenty of cooling capacity to keep running at these rated speeds. So here we have perhaps a more interesting benchmark for general system use, which is the random 4K test. And here we have 16 threads and a Q of 32. So we've got the MSI Spatium M580 Frozer sitting right at the top of the graph, edging ahead a little bit of the Crucial T705. And uh, interestingly here, quite a bit faster than the Crucial T500 as well, which is a PCI Express 4 SSD. So some definite uplift there in terms of the random 4K results. So here we have a slightly different random 4K test. We have a single queue, single thread result here, and the MSI Spatium M580 Frozen are not really offering much of a benefit over the Crucial T705 Pro, which was another PCI Express 5 SSD, but offering a small benefit over the Crucial T500, which is a PCI Express 4. Moving on to the 3 d Mark game storage and access time results now then, and uh, these are using real game files to simulate a real-world experience where, when you're basically loading game files, accessing those files, etc. So we have the MSI Spatium M580 Frozer performing pretty much the same as the Crucial T705 Pro, so not much difference between those two SSDs here. Interestingly though, in this access time test, both of those PCI Express 5 SSDs are notably, noticeably faster with much lower access times compared to the PCI Express 4 SSD that we have at the bottom of the graph, the Crucial T500. Our final benchmark is the 3D Mark game load time performance test in megabytes a second. And here, if you do have a game that benefits from uh, a faster SSD in cutting the load time, then this is generally where you will see a difference in these SSDs. So as we can see here, there's generally an uplift across all of the games that 3D Mark has picked, namely Battlefield 5, Call of Duty, Black Ops 4, and Overwatch. So we've got the Crucial T500 at the bottom, which is a PCI Express 4 SSD, uh, quite a bit slower than both of the PCI Express 5 SSDs on test. So the MSI Spatium M580 Frozer quite a way ahead of the Crucial T500 here. So what do we make of the MSI Spatium M580 Frozer PCI Express 5 SSD then? Well, this thing is absolutely crazy. The speeds are off the chart. It's so much faster than a PCI Express 4 SSD, albeit mainly in the sequential workload. So if you're throwing around very, very large files on a regular basis, or you've got games that actually benefit from having super fast sequential speeds, then this thing is probably for you. Or if you just want the best, fastest SSD out there right now, uh, and you have the budget to match, this is probably what I would go for as well. So you're probably gunning like a uh, Core i9-14900K or a Ryzen 7000, like 7800X3D or 7950X3D, something like that. This is the SSD for you primarily because it looks great. It also has the fastest speeds of any consumer SSD out there right now. But more importantly, from a technical aspect, it can actually handle sustained workloads at its rated speeds as well. And you can't really say that for any other PCI Express 5 SSD out there. So the examples that I've tested from Corsair and Crucial, while they're pretty good, under sustained workloads, especially if they're kind of squidged in between a graphics card and your cooler or water block or something like that, they do end up throttling. So that's kind of annoying because you're paying that extra premium and you will only see those sequential speeds for maybe 30 seconds to a minute before that thing starts throttling. Now, if you've just want the fastest SSD out there. You don't want to have to worry about throttling. That is where the Spatium M580 Frozer comes in because it can just handle them with its massive heatsink and three heat pipes. And thankfully it doesn't cost that much more than any of those SSDs either. So again, PCI Express 5 SSDs, they're not about value. They never were going to be. But if you must have the fastest PCI Express 5 SSD out there that can actually handle those sequential speeds for long periods, thanks to its massive heatsink, then it is for you. So thanks to MSI for sending this thing over and I'll be back very, 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 uh, very, very soon with lots more content. So don't forget to check out the links in the description below where you can buy this thing and a whole bunch of other cool stuff as well. And if you found it informative today, you can always send your thanks by buying me a coffee, sending me a donation on PayPal or various other means as well. So thanks for watching today and I'll be back very, very soon.